how to draw a dog. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a dog. This particular type of dog is a spaniel. Now you will need a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, or a black sharpie for outlining the dog in black, and crayons works best to color in the dog and the background. Find a space that gives you some room to draw. I am using a pencil to get started with. I always suggest you start and pencil first before you move into color. Also, a quick tip would be to not press too hard on your pencil because when you're learning how to draw something for the first time, you do make mistakes and it's okay. You're going to need to have an eraser with you, but don't draw too hard or else the mistake will be very hard to erase. So draw very lightly. I call that the artist touch. On the paper, I come about midway down, sort of in the middle. I will start by drawing a line that extends out to the left. Bring that line out and then bring the line down just a little bit. And then you're going to come out from that line you just made and extend it out to the left, come around, and bring the line downward with a slight curve. So you should have a shape that looks like this, or a line, excuse me, a line that looks like this. To make the nose, draw a semicircle toward the top of that second line that you drew. Then this will be the front part of the dog, curve line coming from the neck. This is the back portion of the dog. That will be the ear. And when you add a slight wave to the lines, it causes the dog to look like it has wavy hair. I'm going to add another line with a few zigzags, and then I'm going to bring that line up halfway. So two lines on the side. The middle portion are also is also wavy and coming through the middle. Bring a line down to the side and another line down to the side. Add the eye. And you have finished the head portion of the dog. Coming down the front, bring a line down with a zigzag line. It doesn't have to be perfect because every dog's hair is different. When you hit about that point, you're going to draw the first leg and make sure it's mm, matched up with the ear. But before we do that, we'll draw the back. That hump is incorrect. You don't want your dog to have a hump. You want it to have a scoop. So this was a mistake. So before you draw this line, make sure that you do not draw it that way. You want the line to slope down and not up. So I'm going to curve that line downward a little bit more so it looks like the dog's back is arched. And then I brought it down to about there. Now starting from about the middle of the ear where you drew that zigzag line, bring a line coming down to make the leg. Straight line, curve line coming out, bring it down, and over. 
The legs are the hardest part, so it's okay to make a mistake. You probably will make quite a few in drawing this. Bring another line over, and this time, this is a zigzag line. And connect. Zigzag coming down and across. This is the dog's fur coming over. Stopping there. And this is the fi the leg in the back of the dog. Curve line starting at the end of the hair that you just made and bring that little foot down. Now the this leg I believe I made it a little too big and I had to go back and erase it and make it a bit smaller. So make sure that you don't draw too hard because there will be some erasing to make proportions look even or similar. That back line has a curved edge. So I finally got the leg to be what I wanted it to look like. But you might take a couple of times with making the leg. Essentially, it's a curved line coming down and another curved line coming down. Now, when you do the front leg, it's pretty easy because you're just basically drawing a line in front of the front leg to match what you did, and in the back, you're going to mirror that same leg. I'm going to add the tail. The tail is zigzags to make it look like fur. I'm going to start from here to here. And the front, I'm going to bring a line down the front of the fur to match that front leg. Stop before you hit the foot, draw the second foot, and connect. The second foot is a little bit thinner than the back foot, the leg. Bring that line down. Now the legs, if you don't like them, work with them a little bit. I can help you in class, but I found for myself when drawing this, the legs were the hardest part. Once you get those about the way you want them to look, then you're ready to add the details. The first detail is the front of the head. Draw a line coming from the edge to the bottom of the mouth to the top. Add a line at the front and a zigzag from the back to the front foot.
then towards the middle, bringing a zigzag line up. And bringing it down to the bottom. Take a look at your picture. See if there's anything that you don't like or any changes you want to make before you add Sharpie. I'm going to draw a line behind the dog to create a separation from the wall and the floor. Now you can create your dog in any atmosphere or environment that you want him to be in. Would you like to put him in the outdoors, in the grass? I'm going to have my dog in a house. You can also have your dog at the pool, in nature, in a dog house. Mine is going to be in a living room or a kitchen and the floor will be brown and the background will be gray for a wallpaper and I'd like to draw a house plant in a dog bowl. You don't have to add any of those details. Once you're fun finished with the dog, go over it in a black marker or black sharpie so it is bold and has a nice pop. Now the fun part begins where you add any detail you want. Sign your initials and color the dog in. To color a spaniel, typically the fur is black at the front and in the middle of the body. I added a plant. You can add pictures on the wall of the home. You can add the dog in the outdoors. You can create the environment you want your dog to be in.